I have been asked to do a short overview of what's included on the CD. So first of all, if we put the CD in the CD-ROM drive and spin it up, um, we are then presented with this screen here. Now don't be tempted to click on this open folders. The one we want is run auto run exe, which will pop up the on-screen menu for the CD. So once we click this, the menu pops up and we can then navigate through the CD by using this on-screen menu. Once we've got the on-screen menu, um, it is navigated through these buttons. Now I'm going to try and whiz through this a bit quick because I want to try and get it all in a 10 minute video. So we'll go straight to the building guide itself. We click this button and the guide itself will open up. The first three pages are a bit of background information and tells you what's actually included. And then we come to the index page itself. Um, this is quite a large document, uh, so the easiest way to navigate it is to just click on which section of the guide that you're working on at a particular time, and we can jump straight to that. Um, if we went to the kitchen, it jumps straight to the kitchen unit. The first thing you'll come to is the DVLA requirements, and I'll click on that. Um, now briefly, you need to read this and adhere to what it tells you so that you can update your registration document. The rest of the guide is divided into sections for each part of the build. Now, if we click on this one, um, each section has its own diagram for the particular unit that you're building and the sizes. It also tells you which boards you need to purchase to build this unit. And then as you go through the guide, you get the written text telling you exactly what you need to do and how you need to do it to achieve the end results. Now when you purchase your boards, as you can see from this picture, they are standard size boards so you have the minimum amount of cuts. This is the face board. This one is cut into sections to make the doors and this is the floor, the baseboard for the cupboard. So as all you need to do is cut the doors into four sections, edge them and the guide explains how to do that. There is a video showing you exactly how this is done. Um, cut out the openings, fix the doors with the hinges, screw them onto the face panel, and there you are. You've got the top cupboards made. The whole guide is very picture-led. Um, I think that pictures tell a much greater story sometimes than text by looking at a photo and seeing how the thing is actually put together is a lot more easier to follow than just the text itself. The whole guide is done on the same format so if you were to look at the seating and beds it's exactly the same tells you what boards you need and then there's photographs and text explaining to you how to achieve this if we go back to the guide this wiring diagram I'd just like to say a few bits about this if we click on the wiring diagram this is for the Zig CF9 and there's full instructions here how 
there's the wiring diagrams for it and these are all numbered so you can't go wrong there's a wiring diagram for the 240 volt system the zig unit here the consumer unit and the mains hookup and there's another diagram for the gas installation if you're not fitting a zig cf9 there is a link to a website where you can download a manual for the particular zig unit you're using this one is a good one this one tells you how to actually use the 12 volt zig equipment so if you've purchased some equipment zig equipment and you're not sure on how to use it this explains how to use the equipment i'm sorry that i'm going a bit fast but um i want to get this all inside 10 minutes right the build photos if you click on this you will hope open the build photos i seem to have lost my mouse here for a moment and here you will find there are some 900 photos of the build from start to finish so anything you're not quite sure of you can scan through here and i'm sure you will find some photographs to help you the videos if we click on the videos um i'll go back this link here will take you to the video menu and here are all the videos for each section of the guide is covered by a separate video so if you are building the wardrobe for instance this video shows you all about the wardrobe the toilet compartment ceiling top cupboards seats kitchen and so on the only thing i would say about these videos is if you read this you'll find that they can be take up to two minutes to actually load into your computer your computer has to load them from the cd onto its hard drive before it plays them so it, you have to be patient while you're waiting for the video to actually appear if you click on this one well then you've got um, a list of other items and we click on the first one insurances here you will find a list of insurance companies and there's quite a large list and every, each one of these will um, insure your vehicle this first um, insurance company will even insure your vehicle if you haven't had the registration document updated and it is important to get the correct insurance for your vehicle not all insurance companies will insure home build camper vans the rest of these are self-explanatory really this one takes you to a website where you can download the zig manuals for lots of different zig units and if we go back to the main menu and click on links here again you should just scroll through and have a look at all of these they are all very interesting and this one at the top if you click on this um, you can ask a question or leave a comment it will take you to my blog page where you will also find on there some extra videos that I've put on there that are not on the CD um, and then it's just the disclaimer which in this present day we always seem to have a disclaimer so that's about it i will try and do a better video um, explaining a bit more about what's on the guide but that's it for now so thanks for watching bye for now